What's up guys? Today's the day. I'm going to put the boat on the trailer. Right now it's on blocks and jack stands. So I had to begin by bringing the trailer up as close to the bottom of the boat as I wanted it to carry. And now I'm bringing the back up. Uh, the end goal was to get the boat as low as possible on the trailer uh, for headroom purposes going down the road. Here I am making the rear bunks. It's 4x13 white oak with a 16 degree cut at the top. That matches the dead rise of the boat. I had to make some notches for the travel lift slings. Those were two and a half inches deep by 18 inches long. And then I carpeted it with marine carpet. Uh, the roll of marine carpet was only 18 inches wide, so I couldn't quite cover the whole bunk, but I did the front and went a little ways down the back. It's against the frame of the trailer, so you won't see it anyways. I used some uh, 9 16 stainless steel staples. I did one side backwards. This is me realizing it, so I had to rip it all off and contemplate life and then start over but they came out pretty good those are the finished product ones are already under the on the trailer um it's pretty happy with them the corners kind of tucked in nice and there's almost 2,000 staples between those six bunks so these are the brackets you can just buy these uh, they're pretty nice they're, they're pretty adjustable one you know one on each side of each cross member three by three quarter inch wall radius uh, corners which is it's nice with the u-bolts uh, got a bunch of them uh, i got a couple two sets of bunks there's gonna be a back set and a front front set with a space in the middle for uh travel lift slings uh, i'm setting the trailer up to dump it in at a ramp but i might use a travel lift just to keep keep it out of salt water as much as possible because we all know what happens when that you stop putting stuff in salt water so i'll do the front bunks first then I get the big ones for the back. These are the rear bunks getting slipped in. You can see what I was talking about, the way the uncarpeted side is hidden by the frame of the trailer. So no worries there. Now that the bunks are all installed, it's time to set the boat and trailer on the ground. <clears throat> Began by lifting it up with forklifts. Uh, the one on the left is an 8,000 pound machine that was hitting the relief. And the one on the right has a scale. It said 9,400 pounds before I could pull that rear block out. But lifted it up set it down i was real careful not to set it down on jack stands but i didn't want the jack stands too far away in case it started to tip but it went smooth moved it to the front lifted the front up set it down no problem so this is how it looks sitting on its own weight on the trailer i put the truck under it for show but it's still on the landing gear came out good I'm happy with how low it is and we're good <laughs> 